everyone. I'm Reverend Kenyatta Jinwe, the Amplify Project Coordinator and Faith Advocacy Coordinator for Sister Song, the Woman of Color Reproductive Justice Collective. We are so happy you could join us for this full moon. As always, we hope to tap into the deep wisdom of, the faith, of our faith traditions and our ancestors to do impactful spiritual work for and in defense of Black lives. We know that our fight is not only against flesh and blood, and we will engage the energies of this full moon to provide spiritual support for our organizers on the ground fighting the good fight of faith. Let's begin. Um, October 20th is the full moon in Aries. This is known as the hunter moon. It is also referred to as the blood moon. This moon, like the harvest moon, is about preparing for the winter ahead. It is referred to as the hunter's moon because it is when indigenous peoples of the Northern Hemisphere would hunt and secure the game that would take them through the long winter. Being stationed in the sign of Aries, this particular full moon is about victorious pursuit. We will be using crystals again for this ceremony. Crystals connect me to both the very concrete gifts of the natural world, as well as the ephemeral and intangible truths of the expanded universe, uh, which is why I like to use them. As always, after each intention uh, is spoken, you can respond in an affirmative in line with your faith tradition. It can be amen, amin, ashe, so mote it be, or whatever the affirmational term of your faith tradition may be. We'll start with Moonstone and place that on our altar. Uh, first, we raise Moonstone. This stone represents the beauty and power of lunar energy. It is used to tap into the intuition that helps to guide us. As we place it on the altar, we speak the intention that all black, brown, and indigenous people fully tap into the intuition um, in the energy of this full moon. May our intuition guide us to ways to prepare for the future we envision and that will support us in our victorious pursuit of liberation. Ashe. Next is bloodstone. We'll place that on our altar. This stone of bloodstone is an amplifier of energy and a motivator. We align with its power of motivation as we set uh, our goals towards a victorious pursuit of collective liberation. Ever closer in these redesigned post-pandemic realities, may we be motivated to continue the work of reimagining and building a world that is free from state-sanctioned violence, a world where we can thrive and live in the greatness of our fullest potential. And we invite help from the seen and the unseen to aid us in not only imagining, but victoriously pursuing this bright new world. Lastly, We'll do serpentine. We will end with the stone of serpentine. We know that this time of the year brings us closer to a time that is uh, that the veil between this life and the next is thin. Serpentine also allows us to access wisdom from the past that our ancestors and those who walked the earth before us left for us. As the world's systems of economy continue to push us forward to try to resume a way of being from before pandemic that may not ever be possible again. We want to take a moment in this moon energy and in this time of the year of the wheel, the wheel of the year to acknowledge that the over 4.5 million lives globally lost in the last 22 months. They were more than casualties of a pandemic. They were parents siblings, children, holders of answers to global questions. We feel the loss of them and we rue the systems that failed, uh, which may have saved some of them. We acknowledge that though their lives are lost to global catastrophe, their wisdom remains and their presence here mattered 
and still matters to us. We assert that we will engage in victorious pursuit of the liberation that will avenge their loss and ensure that systems of power that devalue human life never exist again. We are grateful for the energies of nature and the cosmos in all its forms. We are glad for the ability to align ourselves with the essence of the moon that shifts the tides within and without. It is our prayer that in, the, in its journey through its phases, that our intentions grow in manifestation and that our victorious pursuit of liberation is ever amplified in service for Black Lives and the Collective. Ashe.